Thank you for joining a Read Aloud Story. This is How We Do It by Matt Lamoth is highlighted in December of the 2021 Saltillo calendar. This story is read with target words embedded throughout the story. These words include my, play, how, this, like, have, and a few others. Enjoy simply listening to the story or making comments and demonstrating the word and location for the AAC learner on their technology and use these words in other activities. Select one target, all the targets, or other words that will be meaningful to the person. What makes their lives different and what things do they share? Join us to find out. This is How We Do It by Matt Lamoth. This is How We Do It. One day in the lives of seven kids from around the world. This is me, Italy. My name is Romeo, and I'm called Mio. I'm eight years old. Japan, my name is Kei, and I'm called Kei-chan. I'm nine years old. Peru, my name is Ribaldo, and I'm called Pirineo. I'm 11 years old. Uganda, my name is Daphne, and I'm called Abuli. Russia. My name is Oleg, and I'm called Oleska. I'm eight years old. India. My name is Ananaya, and I'm called Anu. I'm eight years old. Iran. My name is Kian. I'm seven years old. This is where I live. Russia. I live in a second floor apartment in Uchali, a mining town near the Ural Mountains. Uganda. I live in a house made of wood and mud in the village of Kanyawara. Italy. I live in a house in the village of Cadrinano with a vineyard in my backyard. Peru. I live in a house my father built in Los Naranjos, a village in the Amazon rainforest. Japan. I live in a house in the metropolis of Tokyo, one of the largest cities in the world. Iran. I live in a second floor apartment in the city of Gorgon, close to the Caspian Sea. India. I live in a first-floor apartment in the northern city of Hadrawar, along the fast-flowing Ganges River. This is who I live with. Iran. I live with my mom, Masa, my dad, Mohammed, and my little brother, Aaron. India. I live with my mom, Shivi, my dad, Mohit, and my younger sister, Anika. Peru. I live with my mom, Sophia, my dad, Isaias, my younger brothers, Nasser and Eber, and my little sister, Nada. I also have four older siblings who don't live with us. Japan. I live with my mom, Yuki, my dad, Dai, and my younger sister, Nao. Italy. I live with my mom, Francesca, 
my dad Oscar, my big brother Ugo, and my older sister Mila. Uganda. I live with my mom Beatrice, my dad Peter, and my older brother Roger. Russia. I live with my mom Katya, my dad Albert, and my younger brother Artem. This is what I wear to school. Japan. I choose my own clothes for school. I like striped dresses and fancy socks. Iran. I wear a uniform that has a jacket with a built-in shirt collar. India. My uniform includes a special ID card I wear like a necklace. Italy. I wear different clothes every day, but my favorite is the dinosaur sweater. Peru. We don't have a uniform. I usually wear trousers, a t-shirt, and a belt with a lion buckle. Russia. Boys are required to wear a black suit, white shirt, and a tie, but I get to pick out the socks. Uganda. We all dress in red t-shirts and green shorts for school. This is what I eat for breakfast. Iran. I have barbari bread, eggs, feta cheese, walnuts, and tea with sugar. Italy. I have toast with Nutella spread, a cup of egg yolks mixed with sugar and milk, and tea. Russia. I have oat kasha with milk and butter, farmer cheese, bread, and apple juice. Peru. I have fried rice with chicken and peppers, sliced boiled plantains, and hot milk. Uganda. I have matoki with meat, bread, eggs, and milk. India. I have paneer paratha with tomato chutney and milk. Japan. I have rice with furikake, miso soup, grilled cod, and an orange wedge. This is how I go to school. Japan. I walk myself along the city streets, past houses and shops. I smell roasting coffee beans from a cafe and say, Ohio gozamasu to the crossing guards. Russia. I walk past large apartment buildings, a mosque, a church, cats basking in the sun, and Mount Iramel, far in the distance. Peru. I walk next to the main road with my younger brothers and sister, sometimes stopping to buy a snack of sweet bread from a fruit stand. Iran. My mom or dad drives me in our car. We zoom past construction sites, office buildings, and people going to work. Italy. I ride a school bus past rivers and canyons, grape and olive fields, sometimes spotting a shepherd and his sheep. Uganda. I walk for half an hour with friends along a path past bicyclists and groves of eucalyptus and banana trees. India. My mom drives me and my friends in a van through busy streets past hotels, shops, and cows that freely roam the roads. This is my teacher. Uganda. I call my teacher Evelyn. She's been teaching for eight years. Peru. I call my teacher Professor Pedro. He's been teaching for 26 years.
Japan. I call my teacher Sensei. She's been teaching for 12 years. India. I call my teacher Arti Bafla Mam. She's been teaching for four years. Russia. I call my teacher Svetlana Anatolineva. She's been teaching for 36 years. Italy. I call my teacher Luisa. She's been teaching for 20 years. Iran. I call my teacher Kanum Moalem. She's been teaching for six years. This is how we learn. India. We study general awareness and value education, as well as subjects like math, Hindi, and English. Japan. We all wear white indoor slippers and are in charge of cleaning our classroom every day. We study ethics as well as math, science, and Japanese. Peru. Our school is very small, so the 14 kids in the 5th and 6th grades study in the same room. We have different subjects each day, and our school ends at 1 o'clock. Russia. I study three languages, Russian, English, and Bashkir. I'm in a class with the same kids and the same teacher from first through fourth grades. Uganda. I study at a private school far from home, so I stay with my grandma who has a house nearby. There are 69 boys and girls in my class and we study math, reading, writing, and religion. Iran. I go to an all-boys school. We study reading and writing in Farsi, math, science, and the Quran. Italy. We do many activities outside the classroom, like visit parks and forests, go to museums in other cities, and put on a musical at the end of the year. We have school from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. This is how I spell my name. Russia. I write in Russian using the Cyrillic alphabet. Japan. I write in Japanese using kanji characters. Uganda. I write in Rutoro and English using the Latin alphabet. Peru. I write in Spanish using the Latin alphabet. Iran. I write in Farsi using the Persian alphabet. India. I write in Hindi using the Devanagari alphabet. Italy. I write in Italian using the Latin alphabet. This is what I eat for lunch. Iran. I have adas polo, fresh greens and herbs, salad with tomato, cucumber, onion, and lime juice, and water. Peru. I have white rice, beans, fried plantains, and coffee. Japan. I have rice with chicken katsu, soup with cucumber, tofu, and seaweed, salad, and milk. Russia. I have barley kasha with butter, an open-faced sandwich with cheese, and tea with sugar. India. I have chapati, okra, a chocolate cookie, and water. Italy. I have ravioli with sage and cheese and water. Uganda. I have matoki with tomato sauce and water.
This is how I play. Uganda. I like to jump rope with friends from school. Italy. I have rock throwing contests in the hills behind my house. Russia. I play hockey with my team almost every day after school. India. I gather with all my friends in the park to play rumal chor or hanky thief. Japan. I play kori oni or freeze tag with friends on the playground by my house. Iran. I go horseback riding with my friends at a nearby stable. Peru. I play soccer with my two brothers and nephew on a field by the main road. This is how I help. Uganda. I sweep the courtyard with a broom. Peru. I help tend the cornfields on our family farm. Russia. I vacuum the floors and rugs. India. I hang wet laundry on clotheslines to dry. Italy. I feed our four cats and some wild ones that come to the backyard. Iran. I help take care of my little brother. Japan. I help cook dinner. This is how we eat dinner. Iran. On weekends, we all have dinner together. But on weekdays, it's just my mom, little brother, and me. We eat in the kitchen around 9 o'clock a dinner of grilled chicken, salad with tomato and cucumbers, yogurt, and bread with water to drink. Russia. We all eat together in the kitchen around six o'clock, a meal of salad, mashed potatoes, cotoletti with cheese sauce, my favorite, and bread. For dessert, my mom serves oladi with condensed milk, cookies, and black tea. Italy. Sometimes during the week, my family eats separately but we always eat together on the weekends. We gather at the kitchen table around eight o'clock to eat lasagna with ragu bolognese and bechamel sauce. We drink peach iced tea and water. Uganda. My brother, mom, housemaid, and I usually eat dinner around 10 o'clock at night at our big wooden table. We have motoki with g-nut sauce and milk to drink. Japan. I eat with my parents and little sister in the dining room around seven o'clock. Our typical meal is fried salmon with tartar sauce, rice, salad with apples, cucumbers, and tuna, tofu, miso soup, and milk or water to drink. India. My whole family eats together around nine o'clock in our dining room. We have chutney, carrots and potatoes, chapati, and yogurt with water to drink. Peru. My entire family gathers around seven o'clock to eat a dinner of white rice, boiled yuca, and stewed chicken with coffee to drink. This is what I do in the evening. Russia, I play chess with my dad. Iran, I watch cartoons on TV. Peru, I help my brother with his homework. India, my sister and I play a board game called Karom. Uganda, I relax with my family. Italy, I work on model cars with my dad. Japan. 
My mom and I read mystery books together. This is where I sleep. Peru. I sleep on wood planks with three folded blankets for padding next to my sister. Italy. I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with a down blanket I only use during the winter. India. I sleep on a huge bed next to my sister and parents. Iran. I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with my favorite blanket. Japan. I sleep on a futon on the floor next to my sister. Uganda. I sleep on a wooden bed under a mosquito net in a room I share with my parents. Russia. I sleep on a lofted bed in a room I share with my younger brother. This is my night sky. Meet the families. This book follows seven real kids from around the world as they go about their typical day. They might be eating breakfast or playing outside while you're reading this very sentence. We looked for families who have lived in the same country for generations. They follow many of the traditions unique to where they are from, but that doesn't mean the millions of people who call those same countries home have exactly the same tastes and experiences. Not everyone in Peru likes to play soccer and not everyone in Japan eats fish for breakfast in the same way that you and your friends may have to do different chores and may wear different clothes. While none of these kids can be representative of their country or culture, this genuine glimpse into their daily lives can reveal wonderful insights about lifestyles and traditions that may differ from our own. The end.